good morning. It is Monday morning, May the 9th, and I'm in Chicago, the Windy City, and I'm headed north toward Wisconsin. My plan is to head north to Milwaukee. I've got some cousins that live in Milwaukee, so I'm going to stop by and visit. Then I'm going to head through Madison, Wisconsin. From Madison, I'm going to head north and west through the Wisconsin Driftless area on my way to La Crosse, Wisconsin, and the Mississippi River. I'm going to find the Elroy Sparta Trail, which is one of the original rail trails in America. I love bike touring in Wisconsin. It's one of the most biker-friendly states I've ever rode through with lots of pleasant rolling farmland. The towns and the people of rural Wisconsin are warm and friendly. Wisconsin's one of my favorite states to bike tour in. I started in my hometown, Rolling Meadows. I stayed at my friend Rick's house. Yesterday I rode from the suburbs into the city. I stayed north and I went through Mount Prospect, Des Plaines, Glenview, Romet, and then I went south along the lake into Evanston. I followed the lakefront trail all the way to Buckingham Fountain, which is downtown Chicago. Chicago's a big, beautiful city with everything you can imagine, but I need to get out of here and head north and out into some rural areas. So thanks for coming along on another adventure, and I'll see you down the road. All right, this is day two, and I'm riding from downtown Chicago to Greendale, Wisconsin, just south of Milwaukee. It was almost a continuous bike path from downtown Chicago to the Wisconsin state line. It was about a two or three mile section where there was no bike path and I had to ride on the streets of Chicago. Kind of adds an element of danger, you know, on an otherwise peaceful day. I rode along the shores of Lake Michigan and through Rogers Park on the north side of Chicago. I rode past Northwestern University in Evanston and the Baha'i Temple in Wilmette. I rode past Fort Sheridan and the Great Lakes Naval Station. And I rode past Waukegan East High School where I started my teaching career some 32 years ago. I rode the Lakeshore Trail to the Green Bay Trail. I took the Green Bay Trail to the Robert McCrory Trail which took me all the way to the state line of Wisconsin. Well, it's still day two, but I'm sitting next to a frog pond. You can hear the frogs croaking. I crossed the state line at Kenosha, and the bike path ended about three and a half miles later. So I was back riding the roads of Wisconsin. Right now, I'm just south of Milwaukee, taking a little break on the Oak Leaf Trail. There's a figure eight that surrounds and goes through the city of Milwaukee. It's an excellent urban bike path system. It's Wednesday, May 11th, and I'm in Wisconsin. This is day three on my ride from Chicago to La Crosse. Last night I stayed in Greendale. Tonight I'm headed toward Madison. I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way to Madison, but most of the way. I started this morning on the Oak Leaf Trail in the southwest part of Milwaukee. I followed the Root River Parkway to the New Berlin Trail. I took the New Berlin Trail all the way to Waukesha, and that's where I picked up the Glacial Drumlin Trail. The Glacial Drumlin Trail should take me all the way to Madison. It's one of the first rail trails I've been on where they actually charge you to ride the trail. It's $5 a day or $25 for the whole season. I don't mind so much as long as the money goes to maintain and promote more rail trails. But it's hot today, especially early May in Wisconsin. Temperature's supposed to get up into the mid 80s. I'm not sure where I'm gonna stay tonight, but I'll keep you updated. Check in again somewhere down the road. Good morning, it's Thursday, May the 12th, and this is day four from Chicago to La Crosse. I stayed in Jefferson last night, 
and I'm headed toward Madison. I'm not sure where I'm going today, but I hope to get a little bit beyond Madison. It's gonna be another unseasonably warm day today. For early May, this is really hot. It's supposed to get into the 90s. Luckily, there's a little bit of a breeze though. Starting off this morning on the Glacial Drumlin Trail, it ends at Cottage Grove, just a little bit east of Madison. From Cottage Grove, I was back on Wisconsin roads again. Most of the roads have a nice bike lane, but not all of them. Stopped at Lodi for the night. It's a relatively short day, only about 54 miles or so. But man, I was wore out. The landscape of southeast Wisconsin was shaped by glaciers thousands of years ago. The greatest example of that is probably Lake Michigan. As you travel west away from the lake, it's relatively flat, but the elevation rises gradually. I'm riding on the Glacial Drumlin Trail. Named after the egg-shaped mounds called drumlins, they were left behind when the glaciers melted thousands of years ago. It's mostly farmland around here, but there are hundreds of drumlins dotting the landscape, mostly covered in the forest. In between the farm fields and the drumlins, there's lots of marshland, and where there's marshes, there's birds. This is a great stopover area for migrating birds. The rocky material that was moved by glaciers is called drift. Drift is a collection of gravel, rocks, and boulders. When you dig down and you find a significant layer of drift, you know you're in an area that was once covered by glaciers. As you travel west into southwestern Wisconsin, the topography completely changes. Southwestern Wisconsin is part of what they call the driftless area. The driftless area shows no evidence of glaciation. That's weird because the continental glacier that flattened most of Wisconsin and Illinois just completely skipped right on past the driftless area. It's like it just went around it. In the driftless area, the hills are made of weathered sandstone, which is a sedimentary rock formed millions of years ago and shows no signs of glacial disturbance. This part of Wisconsin has a very interesting geological history, which just so happens to be recorded in the rocks. Good morning. It's Friday, May the 13th, and this is day five. Started in Lodi this morning, and I crossed over the Wisconsin River on the ferry at Merrimack. It's a nice little diner in Merrimack, stop for breakfast too. Today I'm headed north and west through Baraboo and Reedsburg, and hopefully hooking up with the Elroy Sparta Trail. I'm right on the edge of the Driftless area. You can see evidence of glaciers carving out valleys and leaving moraines behind. That's what formed Devil's Lake. And the big mound of dirt in front of it, that's a terminal moraine, left behind by a melting glacier. I rode through the state park there, just south of Baraboo. It's a beautiful lake there. No wonder it's a popular place. I hope to make Reedsburg today and get back on rail trail and off these highways. But it's still pretty warm today. It's supposed to be up in the 80s, and they're calling for some storms this afternoon. So I might cut the day short. But after a front moves through, the weather's going to change and hopefully cool off. But that probably comes with a change of wind direction too. But anyways, I'm just taking my time riding through Wisconsin, America's dairy land. Well, good morning. It is Saturday. It's May the 14th, and this is day six on my way to La Crosse. Last night I stayed in Reedsburg, and tonight I hope to make it all the way to Sparta. It's gonna be about a 60 mile day or so. The weather system moved through last night and cooled things off real nice. Today the high temperature is only supposed to be in the 60s. It's a whole lot better than yesterday. It was in the 90s. That's a little warm for this time of year, especially in Wisconsin. But I'm gonna be on rail trail most of the day today. Out of Reedsburg, I picked up the 400 trail. 400 trail should take me all the way to Elroy, and that's where I pick up the Elroy Sparta Trail. Yeah, so I'm on the Elroy Sparta Trail. This is the granddaddy of them all. This is like America's original first rail trail. It goes back to 1967. Who'd have thought of it, you know? Take an old railroad line that nobody uses anymore, turn it into a recreational trail. 
In the summer, hikers and bikers use it, and in the wintertime, cross-country skiers and snowmobilers. So get double use out of an old, useless railroad. Rails to trails, what a great idea. America needs more rails to trails. The old race part of trail wasn't completely level. It had its share of ups and downs. There are three tunnels along the trail, and each tunnel happens to be at the crest of a hill. So it's about a 3% grade up to the tunnel. The trail crests at the tunnel, and then there's a gradual downhill after that. So the Elroy Sparta Trail got damaged by storms about four years ago. Knocked out some bridges, washed out some of the trail. The trail was closed for about four years, and then they got around to fixing it. The state of Wisconsin spent millions of dollars rebuilding some of the bridges and fixing some of the washed out parts of the trail. So I got here just in time for the trail to open. The Elroy Sparta Trail is only about 32 miles long. But if you throw the 400 state trail on there, that's 22 miles to the southeast. And then there's another connecting trail that connects Sparta to La Crosse. It makes a pretty good long trail. It's another beauty day in Wisconsin, America's Dairyland. Saw some sandhill cranes migrating through, just stopping over, catch a meal. Yeah, so anyway, I gotta get moving down the trail. I got reservations in Sparta tonight. Looks like it could rain. Good morning. It is Sunday. It's May the 15th. And this is day 7. I'll be in La Crosse today. Last night I stayed in Sparta, Wisconsin. And it's only about 25 or 30 miles to La Crosse. So it's going to be a short day. But the bike path continues from the Elroy Sparta Trail in Sparta, west to La Crosse on the La Crosse River Trail. The weather's really cooled off. It's kind of crisp this morning. It's in the mid 50s with a light breeze. Well, I'm in La Crosse, Wisconsin on the Mississippi River. I made it in seven days. I probably could have done it in five or six. I had a couple short days. But again, this is just kind of a warm-up ride, so I'm still getting in shape. It was about 350 miles or so, and the majority of it was on bike path, including America's original rail trail, the Elroy Sparta Trail. I started in Chicago, and I rode through Milwaukee and Madison and up the Elroy Sparta Trail, and here I am. So I just want to thank all the people from the great state of Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, for having such a great state to go bike touring in. The rolling farmland, fascinating geological history, and people of Wisconsin make this state one of the most bike friendly states I've ever been to. So I recommend any bike tour in Wisconsin. Thanks for watching. Now go ride your bike. But this journey's not over. From La Crosse, I'm gonna turn left and go south along the Mississippi River and follow the Great River Road all the way home. So stay tuned, there's more adventure to come. I hope to see you down the road.